What's up, y'all? Uh, thought I'd make a quick video on the 1300GS, um, the tow bag I got here. It's been getting quite a lot of interest on um, Facebook Adventure Riding Group. So yeah, um, so this is the Black Series bag. This is the large one. Uh, the way I got it set up, so on the 1300GS, the rack here is pretty wide. So the bag itself, has a loop underneath it. Let's see if we can take a look here. Can't really t see it, but it's got a loop that's supposed to go on the regular GS because it's a metal frame instead of this type of rack. Basically goes, the loop goes underneath this and the bag should sit like a little bit further back. So it has these um, straps that come with it. They're uh, G rings, I suppose they're called. Um, anyhow, goes through the loops of the bag and then secures onto the rack. So that's the way I have it set up here on mine. So that's holding it from going forward. And then it's got these same loops down lower on the bag. So I got a G ring going through there and then the strap going down to the foot peg mount, got it wrapped around that. Then it's got these little bungee cords here, these little um, rubber, or not rubber, but like stretchy type of bungee cord material. You just put the loop back in through it and have it look nice and neat like that. So that's the way I got it set up there. Get on the other side, give you guys a view. So yeah, just G-ring through the loop of the bag down to the foot peg there. Um, I'm sure there's there's other ways uh, you guys could probably figure out how to strap it down, but it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I've been riding with it now for a, a bit and through winds and stuff. And yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Uh, it's pretty, pretty trick, so it's got a zipper here for um, handles. So same thing on the other side. So when you take off the bag off, it's got these handles there. So you can loop them around. Also comes with some bigger straps so you can convert it into a, a more proper duffel bag. It's got a pretty cool little bag here, pocket I should say. Um, it's, I guess, goes deep in there but obviously if you have i think it's for shoes or whatever in case you want to take like an extra pair of shoes but obviously if you have like this bag full of the capacity um you can't put very much in there it'll just be a small little side pocket at that point so let's open her up here take a look So it's got a zipper here with a net. So get some light here. So yeah, you got some storage there. Then, so this is the that bag part. But again, if you have this thing filled up, you won't be able to utilize that. Uh, you got some quite a bit of capacity uh, I've, I fit a full size helmet in here, so it expands as well. Let me show you that real quick. So the bag itself expands via this zipper. So I believe it goes from 50 liters to an additional 60 liters with expansion. So you get that much more. So yeah, it, come, it also comes with a dry bag. So that's what that is right here. It comes with a dry bag as well. Even though the zippers look pretty waterproof already. Also comes with these additional straps here. Also uh, G rings. So these actually attach to um, 
those loops there and yeah it goes like that put another one over here through these loops here just like that so there you go now you can you got a duffel bag so you put them on both ends Cut on the book over here. It's funny. But anyways, yeah, you guys get the idea. Pretty nice bag. Um, I got it at the BMW dealership. Uh, I think I paid, I think they retail for like $390, uh, close to $400. An idea from the front there, the back. Or, yeah, the front of the bike. But yeah, uh, pretty sweet bag. I like it, it's good quality. Got a nice BMW Motorrad badge there. Um, little loop here as well. Got a bunch of little loops here to attach the G-rings to, however way you wanna configure it. Then these G-rings actually also, you can tighten it up. So if you wanna tighten it up a little bit, you just go up a couple loops. That's the bag.